What happens when you reveal your secrets to a stranger who you think you'll never see again, but who turns out to be your boss? Hey guys, welcome back to Flix Recap. Today we're covering the 2019 rom-com movie, Can You Keep a Secret? This movie will make you laugh, cry, and even realize that sometimes all you need is to spill some beans for your love story to begin. Before we start, make sure to drop a like, leave a comment, and subscribe to Flix Recap if you dig the breakdown. And as a quick reminder, this video contains spoilers, so you have been warned. The movie starts with our lead, Emma Corrigan, at an office in Chicago selling her pitch for an organic energy drink called Panda Prime. She's quite an enthusiastic marketing representative and is trying to persuade the client by presenting an impressive speech, however, she still gets rejected. Bumped about it, she decides to get drunk before her flight back to New York. As Emma boards the flight drunk, a kind air attendant upgrades her economy seat to first class to make up for her awful day, and before the flight takes off, a handsome young man named Jack Harper sits next to her. The flight is going smoothly until the plane hits turbulence. Out of her mind, Emma starts thinking she's gonna die. And like some of the people who think they're going to die, she spills her most bizarre secrets to Jack. Although Jack gets a little annoyed by this, he prefers Emma talking rather than screaming at the top of her lungs. And so she keeps opening up about her secrets until Jack interrupts her to let her know that they've landed half an hour ago, and he really needs to leave. Emma's shocked that they made it out alive and without saying goodbye, or even a thank you, she gets up and leaves. She walks out of the airport just when her boyfriend Connor is pulling up in his small car. Connor really thought he was going to lose Emma, and so when he sees her, he's overjoyed, like a little boy. And since there's no better time than the present, he suggests moving in together, and she agrees even though she wanted to break up moments ago. In the meantime, Jack was witnessing everything like a silent spectator. The next morning, Emma makes her way to the office and finds the entire place turned upside down. It seems the CEO of Panda Prime, Jack Harper, is visiting the office. Emma is shocked when she sees that it's the same guy she spilled her secrets to. Although the two of them did not reveal their names during the flight, Jack immediately recognizes her and he makes it his mission to remind her of every single one of the secrets she spilled to him. While Jack gets busy with his work, Emma comes into his office and begs him not to fire her. He's amused and he assures her that he'll not fire her on the condition that she does not tell anyone that he was in Chicago. Emma promises not to reveal his secrets as he would surely do the same for her, and Jack simply nods in compliance. However, he's curious to know if she's ever really been in love. Emma tries covering up the embarrassed truth in Jack's question by simply claiming that no one really knew what love is and then proceeds to walk out of his office. Right after the office shift, Emma rushes off to her friend, Lissy, and tells her about her situation. Lissy tries offering some consolation, but the two girls know that only God can save her from this mess. She also tells Lissy about the slump her relationship with Connor has hit. Lissy suggests spicing things up at the office as Connor and Emma work at the same place. Emma, intrigued, decides to give it a try. The next day at the office, the boss, Sybil, announces that Jack will be supervising the marketing team. While Jack is supervising the team, Emma's work colleague, Casey, comes in to ask her for help in the accounts department. It's their little code to get away from work and get some coffee. Unfortunately for her, she already enlightened Jack with that information on their flight ups. When Emma tries shooing Casey away, Jack insists that she help Casey out. The two get busted when Jack catches them sipping away their coffee in front of the elevator. He tells her to get in so they could get to the marketing department, and so she does. On their way up, the elevator stops at another floor and Connor joins them. Turns out that Jack is actually headed to Connor's presentation. He asks Connor if he finds Emma's presence to be distracting as a sort of litmus test to see if he's in love with her even when she's not. Connor outrightly says no and tells Jack that they keep their personal and work life separate. As they reach their floor, Jack asks Emma to join Connor's presentation. During the presentation, Emma suggests changing the product's demographics to elderly instead of targeting the millennials, but no one supports the idea. After the presentation, Emma texts Connor to join her in the archive room. When he gets there, he is perplexed to see her clinging against the shelves. She tries luring him into a spontaneous makeout session in an attempt to spice things up, but he refuses. And that's how a furious Emma breaks up with her boyfriend. 
Okay guys, quick pause to remind you to comment, like the video, and subscribe to the channel if you like what you see. On with the recap. The next day at work, she asks her co-worker Nick, the rep responsible on the marketing team, for a cut on the budget so they can test her theory about targeting the elderly by putting a coupon of Panda Prime in a bowling monthly magazine. A little persuasion is needed, but Nick agrees. However, she gets called to Jack's office. Emma hesitantly walks in Jack's office as she fears he is again going to mock her about one of her secrets. But he has no such intentions and instead he asks Emma's opinion on a new logo. She hates it, to which Jack agrees immediately. He then tells her that he heard enough about her breaking up with Connor. After assessing the situation and finding it safe enough, he asks her to go on a date with him. Emma readily says yes. Later that night, Jack shows up at Emma's house for their date. She takes him to a secretive dive bar, but she's denied entry. To save her from the embarrassments, Jack suggests getting falafel, and so they do. Both of them are enjoying falafels on the outskirts of New York City until the stupid jokes and quirky laughter take them to bed where they start their steamy relationship. For the next few days, Emma's entire life revolves around her new rich CEO boyfriend. Both of them go on multiple dates together and soon she realizes that he never actually shares anything with her. Jack is all good until she asks him something about his personal life and he immediately goes silent or tries dodging the question. Emma talks about the bizarre situation to Lissy and she gets a little concerned. She tells Emma to be cautious because she thinks their relationship might be one-sided. The next day at the office, all of the employees have gathered to listen to Jack's live interview. When he's asked about the new target audience of Panda Prime, he describes it as the girl on the street and then goes off to list down all of Emma's traits and her secrets too. It doesn't take long for the entire office to catch up on the reference and soon everyone is mocking Emma. Poor girl. Emma returns to Lissy's apartment where their other friend, Gemma, also joins them. The two friends try consoling her, but she's devastated. Jack calls her and she picks it up one last time to tell him that she never wants to hear from him. Gemma suggests getting back at him, but Emma knows nothing about Jack. Emma remembers that he asked her no to tell anyone that he was in Chicago, but she knows nothing more. The next day, Emma meets Casey for coffee. While the two of them are having a chat, Jack comes in and asks her to talk, and at first she refuses. After a while, she asks Casey to leave them, and when Casey's gone, she tells him that he's not shared anything with her and demands to know why he was in Chicago. Jack becomes hesitant, so Emma decides to leave. Back at Lissy's apartment, Emma reveals what went down at the coffee shop, and again, Gemma is insistent that they get to know Jack's secret and expose him. Gemma tells the girls that she knows a tabloid reporter who will look into the matter and bring him down, but Emma refuses. The next day at the office during the meeting, Sybil tells the marketing team that the coupon delivered some off-the-chart numbers. Nick tries taking the credit, but Emma calls him out and demands her promotion, to which Sybil agrees. Later that day, Emma goes to a theater to support Lissy for her dance performance. Jack shows up there and tries coming clean. He tells her that he was in Chicago to meet his goddaughter, Alice, and the reason why he did not want anyone to know was simply because he did not want the media to know about her. Emma is delighted to see him finally opening up. The two patch up and enjoy Lissy's performance together. After the performance, Gemma comes with her tabloid reporter, and while Emma tries to get rid of him, Jack misreads the situation and leaves without giving her the chance to explain. In the night, Jack is on a flight to Chicago when Emma shows up and asks for a chance to explain everything. She assures him that she told nothing to the reporter and that was all a big misunderstanding. She also confesses her love for him and thanks him for loving her true self even at its ugliest. Then she moves to her seat and this time Jack follows her. Jack starts revealing all of his secrets to her and to the other passengers too. As a small smile appears on Emma's face, he asks her to switch seats with the passenger next to Emma, who readily agrees. Both then fly economy into their more honest relationship. Have you ever been in a situation where a secret costs you something? Well, secrets can take a huge toll. Share your thoughts in the comments below, and of course be sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss the next recap. Until next time.